Hey guys, Double Wide 6, and this is what a free tractor might look like. <laughs> Just needs to be cleaned up a bit, and it looks like it's leaking a little bit of oil. So, we'll look into it. I'm not going to go nuts on this thing. Um, I doubt it was ever cleaned. But, anyhow, this is it. I guess it's like a uh, tractor supply tractor. has three bin bagger, and... Uh, there's the, the hood for it. So, anyhow, we'll clean it up a little bit, pressure wash it. Here she is, got it hosed off, actually power washed it, and um, looks pretty good. Thing has the triple bin bagger on it, it's actually a garden tractor. The deck is uh, rusted a little bit, but no holes, it's actually a pretty thick deck. So, um, should be a runner. I think it might have an oil leak on that right cylinder. Um, because I saw a lot of oil there. So, maybe the head gasket's blown or something on that right side. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. I think, uh, I'll go through, clean the carb tomorrow. And we'll see what we get. So I had this thing sitting overnight and uh, really leaked a lot of oil. So uh, probably uh, where the head connects to the block, I think it's leaking there, but I can't see it till I get it apart. Um, I just want to do some general tests. This thing doesn't fire. Uh, it, it'll putt a little bit, but it doesn't really run. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm checking the compression here. I charged the battery last night. I think it has low compression. Alright. So we're about 65. But that took a while to run up. And since this is a twin, we're checking the other side as well. Alright, so that one's up around 135. So, <clears throat> there's, a, there's definitely a problem with that other cylinder, so we're going to further investigate. So, we're just finishing pulling off the uh, valve cover. And if we look in here, we, yep, already see a problem. Here's what's left. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, got to find the rest of that valve. We'll take a closer look at this, or rod, I should say. So if we take a look at the uh, intake valve, you can see that one moves. The exhaust valve is actually stuck a little bit here. So I'm, I'm just going to give it a light tap. Alright guys, uh, what I did here is I pulled out those broken push rods and I switched it up with the push rods from the other side. I noticed the exact the exhaust valve was sticking so what I did is I, I put this wrench in here on the end of the valve without the uh, push rod in and I gave the wrench a tap with my hammer and I was able to free up the valve so that it would move. So uh, now what I want to do is check it for compression except I just lost my push rod there we're going to give it a crank I think the compression was something like 30 before alright we're at like 140 so uh, I might try and fire this thing and see if the left side cylinder will fire okay so um, this side's all back together. I called it the left, I also called it the right, but uh, this is the one that had the broken pushing, 
push rod. So we switched it over and we're going to see if that fires. So it'll be run on one cylinder if it does fire. success so I, that was running on one cylinder like I said and if you look all this is packed in with uh, dirt and debris there's freaking nuts up here from squirrels and stuff and when I pulled off the shroud which is over here you could see that there was all this grass and oily residue that was that came off of that um, I'm kind of thinking that the reason that it was dripping so much oil, it's water and oil, may have been because when I cleaned it off, it was just soaked and saturated with water and all that oily residues coming out of there. So now that I have it running, I'm going to power wash off those fins, um, and then I'm going to start it again, and I'm going to check it for leaks. And if the thing's not leaking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing back together, get the push rods for the other side, and uh, get rid of it. Well, I cleaned it off. It's been running for about eight minutes or so. And it seems to be running really well, even though it's running on one cylinder. So I'm going to order the push rods. And uh, I guess get this thing fixed up. Although I gotta let it sit and see if it's leaking. I didn't see any leaks so far. All right, guys, not too bad. A little bit of uh, work on this thing pays off. So um, it's not leaking oil, and uh, it was what I thought. It had all that crud caught in there with water and oil, and that was kind of dripping out. And made it look like it was leaking but uh, it's been sitting here a couple hours and no drips so I'm gonna get the push rods for this thing the tubes on the tires um, I, I'm just gonna put new tubes in that's the cheapest way to do it uh, I was just testing them out you could see some bubbles coming out there's a little bit of dry rod on these things so I'll put new tubes in I'm gonna get the push rods and uh, the little uh, fuel suction line right there, that thing is uh, kind of brittle, so I'm going to replace that. And um, I'm going to go through the electrical a little bit. Some of the wires are a little bit chewed up, literally, from whatever was in there. So uh, everything seems to be working at this point, and the battery seems to be pretty good. So... Um, Anyhow, I'm going to go through and do that stuff and uh, probably get rid of this thing. Um, it's not too bad considering it's a hydrostatic drive. Um, I tested it out. The deck works. It's a, it's a pretty good tractor besides the fact that the guy just left it outside. So, anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6. Uh, in this video, I will put a link to uh, how you can get yourself a compression tester. And uh, you can run the same basics test that I did to figure out what's wrong with your engine. So the link's in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of video, please give a thumbs up. That really helps the video as far as the views. Thanks for watching.